The government warehouse in Kaja, Lagos, is filled from end to end with used household products, secondhand clothing, used tires, and confiscated vehicles, all seized by the officials of the Nigerian Customs Service. Top on the list of seizures, however, is a container filled with mounds of Indian hemp, an illicit drug, along Olorida axis of Ogun State. Cannabis, sativa, Indian hemp, illicit drugs, seized. Uh, 1,350 kg was over 6.4 million. These are dangerous drugs. They are not allowed to come in because their consumption affects the population. And by doing so, when we don't have sound, people will sound the mind. It will affect the production of our economy. These exotic cars are also hot on the list of seizures brought in by the command across the western zone in the first quarter of 2018. While some are being detained temporarily, until the owners provide proof of duty payment, 64 will be forfeited to the federal government over evasion of duty payment. Section 147 of the SEMA has empowered the custom officers to break, post open any building, including dwelling house or houses, where we have reasonable suspicion goods prohibited are kept there or oh, government revenue has not been collected we we'll force this open and do we evacuate these goods to the government warehouse this is what informed our decision to go after those cars what we normally do when we reach there based on intelligence we ask them to provide evidence of duty payment money meant for the federal government. Anybody who does provide and we are sure adequate money or money meant for the government is adequately collected, is caught free. Those ones that they have short paid the government will bring the vehicles until additional money is paid. Those ones who do not have at all, who do not pay government money, they smuggle the vehicles. We see them outright. The Federal Operations Unit Command of the NCS says it will continue to make such seizures to curb smuggling and plug the loopholes that lead to a huge revenue loss for the federal government.